back. So we are live on the red carpet. I'm downtown Leslie Brown, and we are with one of the founding members of NOLA Nobles, my dude, Torrance Taylor, who's always fashion forward. I'm telling you, you look like you're ready for the Black Panther well, yeah, premiere movie. How dope and how important is this Black Panther movie to you in this yeah. day and age in 2018? Yeah. One of the reasons why I started the Nobles is because of images. We need to see ourselves and looking great, being great. And so this, this is important that another generation of young people and of people who are of age get to see, you know, us being powerful and see our strength. And that this is actually like, you know, power beyond the science, you know, science fiction and stuff like that, that, you know, we could, we've been doing great things. And so this is great that we now have a su another superhero. Well, really a superhero we have always had, but his story gets to be told in this way. So who's your favorite superhero? Brown Hornet. Okay, and so who's who's your real life superhero? Real life superhero, I mean, everybody always thank God and their mama. So mama is always like the superhero. So I would say that because she's the biggest cheerleader for me. All right, before you leave, do your favorite, your best Juan LaFonta commercial impression. Wait, Juan LaFonta. <laughs> <laughs> Man, get off this red carpet. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh oh, you already know. I had to get the lady that bounces it out. The business. We are live on the red carpet. Juan LaFonta, he brought out all the celebrities. He, he, let me tell you something, all the stops. Everybody is out today. We had to bring out the Queen Diva, your best of believer, Big Frida. How are you today? That's the main question. I'm doing well. Excited to be here. You know what? You know, just a little bit side note. We just happy that you out and about with, with everything that's going on in your life and the, the fact that you can still be out, still, you know what I mean, looking fabulous as always and okay. still can show face and still can, you know, com connect with the community. We think that that's so dope. But I have a question. What does this movie mean to you, this Black Panther movie mean to you in 2018? Well, being that, you know, I'm a part of the black community, it's very important for us to support our own. And this, this superhero is something special to all of us. So we want to be able to connect with our ancestors and see the power that black people hold and bring together. And, you know, I'm so excited to be here and just represent for the community. You know, when we think of Black Panther, you know, I put my all black on. That's one yeah, part of yeah. it. But a lot of folks are coming out with, that you know, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So tell me what motivated you in order to wear the kente. Well, I've been seeing a lot of people representing with the, the Kente movement and also that he was a king. So the kings represented with the Kente cloths and the hats and the whole ensemble. So I want to be a part of the movement as well. And I just want you to know I lost a bet because I just, I bet a dollar to a donut. You was going to come here with a big crown on your head, baby, slaying. Look, you have any favorite superheroes, you know, just coming up? Um, my favorite was Wonder Woman. You know, I, I love Wonder Woman. She's such a dynamic, powerful woman, and I, I always wanted to be her when I was little. And what's your favorite real-life superhero? Um, I, that was my mom, of course. That was my mom. Now, before I let you leave, and I'm going to let you finish, do your favorite Juan LaFonta commercial impression. Boom! Juan LaFonta, Juan LaFonta. <laughs> oh, all right, I have to just give me a little swiggle on that now. Thank you for stopping through on the red oh, carpet. Juan LaFonta, thank you for having us and all that other good stuff. Nothing but you want to say anything else? Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. That's all I can say. <laughs> thank you for stopping thank through, you, baby. baby. Okay, so we are live on the red carpet for the Juan LaFonta premiere of Black Panther right here in New Orleans. We're super excited. And let me tell you something. When you have a movie that shows black excellence and shows, you know, so powerful folks and shows, you know, uh, our ancestry, if you will, you know, how we were kings and queens, we got to bring out the queen of New Orleans, Mama Mia X. What does this movie mean to you today in 2018? so happy to be here. This movie means everything to me. It's the perfect timing. This is what our children need. I mean, I'm just, I'm overjoyed right now. Okay, so, I, you know, I was talking to um, Big Frida not too long ago, and I was saying how, you know, some people get a different definition of Black Panther. Sometimes you wear your all black. And then, you know, with this movie, a lot of people are wearing a kente. What inspired you to put on your kente today and come out with your crown on and all that good stuff? I wanted to make the ancestors proud today. That's what I wanted to do. Coming up, as a young girl, you know, of course, we had television. 
all that good stuff. Why you sliding over? You running? I feel like you running from me, Mia. What? Oh, hold on, let me. My breast thing. Oh, all right, cool. All right, just making sure. Feel like you were trying to slide on out the shot right quick. But you know, just with um, who was your favorite superhero coming up? Oh, mighty Isis. You don't remember Isis? No, tell me. Oh, because you so young. But you I'm saying that's yes, I do remember. You don't remember. And I remember Shira. You don't remember Isis? Isis? No. Tell me about. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my research about Isis. I I I tell you one Warrior thing. Warrior princess. Okay. <laughs> yes, she was everything. <laughs> but tell me this: Who was your real life superhero? My mother and my grandmother, in real life. Because I saw them pull some unspeakable, impossible things off. And so, you know, just with the hard work and the dedication and loyalty to the family, you know, making meals out of nothing, finding bill money out of nothing, that's my superhero. Okay, well, hey, you heard it here first. Mama Mia X on the red carpet of Juan LaFonta's premiere of the Black Panther 2018. Right here in Elmwood. Make sure you stay tuned. Give me them sloppy seconds. Oh, I ain't tripping. No, I ain't tripping on them good old sloppy up. seconds. You heard me. Of course, you already know the business. We are live on the red carpet premiere of the Black Panther movie, sponsored by Juan LaFonta. Of course, we got to bring out some of New Orleans' hottest and dopest artists in the streets. And of course, people that's just making noise and, you know, all about the real culture yeah. of New Orleans. Tell me. There's been so much stuff and so much talk about this movement. That excitement has been just bananas. Why is seeing this movie is so exciting for you? I don't even watch Marvel movies, but I but I gotta be here for this. You okay. know what I mean? I don't even watch Marvel movies yet. Yeah, like I, that just ain't my thing. But it's important because this is more than a movie. Mm -hmm. This is a movement, and it's a movement of black unity and black excellence. So if I'm a black man that represents all those things, I have to be here to show my love and show my support. It's mandatory. Exactly. Nah. And, I, and I got my dashiki on. You know what I was about to say that because you yeah. know with the Black Panther, you know it's it's a couple different things you think of. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you know me. I understand that the revolution ain't gonna be televised. You real, feel what real. I'm saying? So yeah. I put on my all black and yeah, I'm like, yeah, boom, yeah. got my Black Panther on. But a lot of folks are choosing to wear, you know, the dashiki or the yeah. kente cloth. And, tell and, tell and, me about and, the and, reason and, that you felt like it was important yeah. for you to wear your kente. And the Malcolm X glasses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's, I'm saying that's get your hand on my pocket hey, oh all right, my hey, hey, hey. look it's because our clothes make a statement about mm -hmm. us whether or not we want to admit it what we wear makes a statement in and of itself mm -hmm. so when you see all black when you see can't take clothes you see dashikis it automatically lets you know this person is in touch with at least their culture mm -hmm. you know what i mean and that's the thing is hollywood and trying to be famous or get us to be go outside of ourselves and, and who we supposed to be representing and holding down. Like conform to what conform society says. Say. And say. I'm unpeer pressurizable. Yeah, and, and I love that word. Webster, <laughs> put that in your dictionary. Stop playing with us. Up there with Googleable. Come on, man. Googleable, unpeer pressurizable. Ah, I love Boom. You, man. Hey, look, so tell me this. Another part of that, how dope is it that Kendrick Lamar is, you know, Got the soundtrack popping off of Black Panther. It's amazing. And if they would have, if they would have told uh, Mac Miller or somebody to do it, it would have been a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all, y'all know who to get at too, man. Like exactly. But it's only because Kendrick is a brother who can understand it, understand the culture and the heart that needs to go into the music. So it's cool, man. It's a great time to be a black person, a black artist. You know what I mean? We all children of God. So at the end of the day, it's like, look, we here and we love who we are, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna sit here and kill ourselves and kill each other no man this is unity tonight and that's something we should never be ashamed of so i'm gonna put you on a freestyle spot and not to rap but to ask you to come up with if you had to come up with a hashtag about how important this is tonight what hashtag would you use about black panther movie or just whatever tonight whatever hashtag Unpeer pressurizable. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Now tell me how to spell it and we on. Yeah, we hey man, that. shout out to D1 for stopping on the red carpet of the Black Panther premiere brought to you by Juan LaFonta. Hey, do your favorite Juan LaFonta impression of the commercial. Boom! Juan, I ain't never saw the commercial, but I love you. You heard me? <laughs> D1. <laughs> I'm in the studio. You heard me? He said, hey, I don't watch TV. You heard me? That's what's up. All right, D1, baby.
All right, my bad, my bad. Hey, I just now learned out some dope stuff because let me tell you something. We on the red carpet of the premiere of the Black Panther movie sponsored by Juan LaFonta. And let me tell you something, ain't nothing better than a BMC. You know what a BMC is? No, I don't. Black man cooking. Boy! <laughs> I just made that up on the spot. On but the I'm going to that BMC, boy, let me tell you. Ooh, so I heard you was the official chef? I was the personal chef on Black Panther. What? To where I cooked for Michael B. Jordan. That's who brought me in. Mm -hmm. Also, I branched out through the production of Marvel. And they had me cooking for Lapita. They also had me cooking for Winston Duke, Daniel Kalua off of Get Out. All right, so don't talk about me, man. Tell me your name one more time. My name is Donny, Donny Stikes. How you mess up your own name, though? Because How you, I'm, I'm I made you nervous. You like I made you nervous. <laughs> he messed up his own name. My name is, like, uh, you remember? You looked you, at me like you was coming on to me. You saw the movie Claude. Life. You remember when Martin forgot his name? Like, Claude. That's my name, Claude. <laughs> nice. Right, right. So tell me this. 2018, how important is a movie like Black Panther in this day and age for you? It's important because it, bling, it brings out the black excellence of us. Mm -hmm. It also reminds us that we originated from kings and queens. Mm -hmm. So with this movie, it's going, I saw it already, but oh, I'm, just he, it? I'm, I'm just here. To I know, I was like, you got all that from the preview. Uh -huh. I was so confused and I'm like, how you got all that <laughs> from the preview? I know you lying. I know you jumble lying. You know, I've I like had a few food like that. reference in there. Right. If you steal it, you got to tag me in there. You know what I mean? And the but, thing about it is, is that, like, when you watch it, it's going to bring the essence of us mm -hmm. to where we originated from kings and queens. And also, that's like, in a way, to where Africa has all the mineral resources that the world wants, like diamonds and right. gold. But in this movie, it's going to show that Wakanda has something that the world wants, mm -hmm. and they're trying to infiltrate it to get it. So when you watch that, you're going to see it's going gonna, it's gonna to touch you in so many ways. It's gonna Good thing this ain't a live feed because it was almost like it was, you know what I mean? Uh -uh, but I'm, I'm going to be watching with a close eye. I'm going to sit next to you in the movie. You going to watch it again? I'm watching it. watching it. It's that good. It's you can see it good. twice. It's buku excitement behind it. Just from seeing, you know, the previews, why are you so excited to see the movie again? Because... I missed out a few things because it, the movie was so great that a lot of people, when I first watched it, mm -hmm. screaming after, you know, everything. Yeah. You know how we are. We get mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see it again because it's excited, that great. We're excited. We're it's, all excited. Yeah, it's that it's great. great. It's mm -hmm. that great. And it's like it's a, it's a touching movie. Okay. So where, like I said, it's going to remind us where we originated from okay. and the Got power it. that we have. Let us know um, where we can find you at, all on social media and everything. You can find me everywhere at Donnie Stikes. I say my name right this time. You said it right this time. <laughs> you did good. I'm proud of you. Sorry, I'm going to give you a hug. Okay. Oh, my God. Said he, said he said his name right. She warm and soft, soft. like Subway cookies. Oh, Ooh, my God. Lord. <laughs> Hot out the oven. Hello. You, let me find out you want. Never mind. Well, uh, um, let, let me. Mm, let me. Let me. Um, uh, Till next time.